Let's say that I've got two Chuck Norrises, or maybe it's Chuck Nori. And to that, I am going to add another three Chuck Norrises. So I'm going to add another three Chuck Norrises. And this might seem a little bit obvious, but how many Chuck Norrises do I now have? Well, two Chuck Norrises, we can represent this as literally a Chuck Norris plus a Chuck Norris. So let me do that, a Chuck Norris plus another Chuck Norris. Two Chuck Norrises, you could also view this as two times Chuck Norris, and this is just another way of representing it. And three Chuck Norrises, three of Chuck Norrises, you could view that as a Chuck Norris plus a Chuck Norris plus another Chuck Norris. And so we would have a grand total, and this might be very simple for you, but you would have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five Chuck Norrises. So this would be equal to, this would be equal to five Chuck Norrises. Now let's get a little bit more abstract here. Chuck Norris is a very tangible thing. So let's go to a little bit more of traditional algebraic notation. If I have two x's, two x's, and remember, two x, this is what you could do this as two x's or two times x, and to that I were to add three x's, and to that I would add three x's, how many x's do I have? Well, once again, two x's, that's two times x. You could view that as an x plus an x. We don't know what the value of x is, but whatever that value is, we can add it to itself. And then three x's are going to be that value, let me do that in that same green color. Three x's are going to be that value plus that value plus whatever that value is. And so how many x's do I now have? Well, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five x's. So 2x plus 3x is equal to is equal to 5x. And if you think about it, all we really did, and hopefully you conceptually get it, is we just added the two numbers that were multiplying the x. And these numbers, the 2 or the 3, they're called coefficients. Very fancy word, but it's just this constant number, this regular number that's multiplied by the variable. You just added the 2 and the 3 to get your 5x. Now let's think about this a little bit more. Let's go back to this original expression, the two Chuck Norrises plus three Chuck Norrises. Let's say to that we were to add, let's say we were to add some type of a, let's say we were to add seven plums over here. So this is my drawing of a plum. So we have seven plums plus two Chuck Norrises plus three Chuck Norrises. And let's say that I add another two plums. I add another two plums here. So what would this whole thing be? Well, I wouldn't add the 7 to the 2 to the 3 plus the 2. The, we're adding different things here. You have two Chuck Norrises and three Chuck Norrises, so they're still going to simplify to five Chuck Norrises. And then we would separately think about the plums. We have seven plums, and we're adding another two plums. We're going to have nine plums, plus nine plums. So this simplifies to five Chuck Norrises and nine plums. Similarly, over here, if I had, instead of just 2x plus 3x, if I had 7y, 7y plus 2x plus 3x plus 2y, what do I now have? Well, I can't add the x's and the y's. They could very well represent a different number. So all I can do is really add the x's, and then I get the 5x, and then I'd separately add the y. If I have 7 y's, and to that I add 2 y's, I'm going to have 9 y's. If I have 7 of something and I add 2 of something, I now have 9 of that something. So I'm going to have 9 y's. So you add that. And then a different color. You add this and this, you get that. You add the x's, you add the x's, you get that right over there. So hopefully that makes a little sense. Actually, I'll throw out one more idea. So given this, what would happen if I were to have 2x plus 1 plus 7x plus 5? Well, once again, you might be tempted to add the 2 plus the 1, but they're adding different things. These are two x's. This is just the number 1. So you really just have to add the x's together. So you're going to say, well, I got two x's, and I'm going to add seven x's to that. Well, that means I now have nine x's. And then separately, you would say, well, I've got just the abstract number 1, and then I got another 5. 1 plus 5 is going to be equal to 6.